Hey guys, it's Rhonda Hines here and I want to share with you a question that I really had to ask myself and um, that was how much pain is it going to take for you to get your shit together? When I ask myself this question, um, that's when a lot of things change. And let me elaborate a little bit. So, you know, a lot of times we go on um, through life and we have dreams and we have goals. And for some reason, we don't fight for them. We don't give all that we can give or we make up excuses like I did. I don't have time. I work all the, all the time. I have kids. I have I just don't have the time to do it. I don't have the money to do it. I don't know how to do it. Um, who would I talk to? All of those things which, you know, really are just uh, excuses. And I really had to ask myself this question, well, what will it take? Think about, you know, think about a, um, a kid. You know, you tell them over and over again, don't go in the kitchen when mommy's cooking. Don't touch the stove. It's hot. They have no idea what the hell hot means until they touch it and they, ow, they burn their hand and now they can relate hot to the feeling of pain. Okay, so when, uh, now let's turn this around a little bit when um, how the mind works, right? When we are thinking about uh, making changes and we don't have the answers, we don't move forward because of fear or the fear is usually of some type of pain that may happen even though we don't know what that pain feels like. Um, it's like a drug addict when we tell them that hey, the only way they understand is, is if they hit rock bottom. They haven't hit rock bottom. And that's usually when they make a decision that I don't want to feel this pain anymore. And that's all it really takes, right? So the reason I had to ask myself this question, um, and I'm going to relate it to my business because this is, this is what made me think about it. Um, I went through several, several other businesses before I had a breakthrough. And I was thinking about why did it take me so long to have this breakthrough? And I realized it's one, because although I didn't want to work for anyone, I knew if I showed up for work every day and worked my eight hour shift, worked 40 hours a week, is I had a check coming as long as I showed up. Even if my job, to be honest, how many of you are working on an eight hour job? right but it really doesn't take eight, eight hours for you to get your job done you waste time you do other type of stuff but you know I want to get this 40 hour check for the week so I'm going to make this two hour job day seem like it really takes eight hours when uh, when really if you just do two hours of dedicated uh, focus that you can get a lot done in them two hours more than you, you can get in a, a full day so I had to ask myself that question, what was holding me back? And really, it was the decision to do it. Um, I wasn't in enough pain. Now, some people, they, they, they can relate, and they, ha they don't have a choice. They, it's like, this business is the only option I have. I'm about to lose my home. I'm about to lose a car. I'm about to be out on the streets. They've totally hit rock bottom, just like a drug addict. Um, but I've never hit rock bottom. And I'm not saying you have to hit rock bottom. I'm saying is there's no need to hit rock bottom and whatever it is that you're trying to decide or to continue to keep going through pain if you could really connect with your reason why you want to change. And um, just make a decision. You don't have to go through pain and hit rock bottoms to have your breakthrough. The Really, the decision is all up to you to do it. Now, maybe your decision and your reason why is why you haven't done it. You haven't connected to it. Um, so here's a tip. Instead of saying, okay, where well, this is going to be hard, I don't know the answers, or anything like that, and relating the pain to the change that you have to take and the steps to do whatever it is, because we all know that trying something new is very challenging, then just related to something else like what is going to happen to me if I don't make this change this positive change what is going to happen to me if I don't um, you know follow through on these instructions and follow these steps what's going to happen to me if I don't change my diet um, instead of thinking that you're giving <laughs> instead of thinking that you're giving up something um, 
and he stops right in front of my house. Instead of thinking that you're giving up something or something is going to happen to you that's negative, think about the positive outcome that is going to give you. For example, like people say, oh, I'm going to start my diet next week. And I don't like saying diets because that makes it seem like you can't have something, that you're taking away something and something is happening or being taken away from you instead of something being given to you, like your health, living longer and being there for your family. Okay, so I'm back. So instead of um, thinking that something is happening to you, think about what can happen for you if you make the change. Because really, it's the um, pain that we're relating to the change that's keeping us from taking action right away. Um, like I mentioned before, like a diet. If you thinking about, well, I'm not going to be able to eat this or that. I hate saying diet. Because, like I said, it's um, about lifestyle change. Diet makes it seem like you are restricting yourself to things um, that you can't have instead of thinking about what the benefits of making a change would do as far as um, maybe you have diabetes or high blood pressure. And um, think about if you die from high diabetes or high blood pressure not being there from your family. Change the pain that you are relating it, um, to the change, if that makes sense. Um, I heard this story once about um, a dog. This neighbor had a friend that would come over all the time and his dog was sitting on the porch moaning and crying and whining. He wasn't hungry because it was food in his bowl. Uh, there was water. But every time he came, he's like, why is this dog always in the same spot? And why is he moaning? And he's like, well, he's sitting on the nail. He was like, why won't he just get up? And he said, well, I guess he's not in enough pain. And that's how it is. That's what I'm saying. Um, what I'm saying. And I had to ask my question, how much pain was it going to take for me to change? If, if it was painful for me to go to work every day for someone else, I needed to do something differently. If it was painful for me to continue living check to check, then I needed to do something different. If it was painful for me um, and whatever a life situation was that I really said I wanted to change, then I was not in enough pain. So I had to change my uh, state of mind and my state of thinking. So I hope that all makes sense and I hope this helps someone. Please leave a comment below and let me know. Um, just are you in, uh, are you are you done with being in pain. Give me your comments below. Bye.